I hit the bass note on that one. Appreciate y'all hear? everybody um, gathering around. Um, you know, we were talking growing up in the mountains. Um, I was sharing with the church. You know, my dad pastored the same church for 42 years. And I can remember in the wintertime, people would be baptized and my dad going to the river and actually breaking ice back where he froze, froze on the bank so they could get in it. And, and, you know, it didn't matter what time of the year it was, and people went into the water, but through time we've changed things. You know, churches, we talked about this in our church the other day. You know, used to, when you did communion, you know, you used goblets, and, you, you know, the women or the deacon or deaconess would bake the bread, and, you know, somewhere along the line we begin to change those things, and we begin to buy wafers and little, little individual cups. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hee haw wants to keep on going. I hit the pause. <laughs> Somebody must have hit it again. But you know, we yeah, keep changing and, and to where we're trying to make God's commandments and things that He told us to do to suit us. And we're not supposed to do that. And, you know, we're supposed to keep the word, and I believe in that. And, and uh, you know, one of the things He told us to do was to be baptized. And, okay. you know, it's, it's not going to make anybody any more saved than they already are. Baptizing doesn't save you. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a decoration to the world of what you've done and, and you know it represents the old man going in the water and the new man coming out. And it's just a symbol. And you know when Jesus came to John in the river and John was baptizing and he saw Jesus coming and you know Jesus wanted to be baptized and it just blew John's mind because he didn't understand why Jesus he felt like Jesus ought to be baptizing him, you know. And, but what Jesus was doing is what we as Christians need to do, and that's set examples. And, you know, that's one thing about Jesus. He, you know, he always set that example is how he wanted us to live, you know, the things he wanted us to do and stuff like that. And, and you know, guys, I, like I said, I wish I could tell you that going in this water is going to make your walks a little bit easier, but it's not going to do it. Um, nothing but staying close to the Lord and, mm-hmm. and, and getting in His Word and being in a good uh, Bible-believing and teaching church is the best thing you can do. And it does get easier as you go on, but it's not going to make the trials go away. It's not going to make the bills go away. It's not going to make the sickness and disease go away. But it is what we were commanded by our Savior to do. So um, pray for these guys that are going in this water and, and uh, 
You know, to me as a pastor, this is one of the greatest privileges that I get to do. Um, and it's an honor to be a part of, of this because you never forget it. It's like me and Jimmy were talking. You, you never forget it. And it doesn't matter whether you're in a pool or in a creek. I promise you, the ones that are being baptized, you will never forget it. You'll never forget it till the day you die. So I don't care how you start, but if you line up somehow in some order, and we'll get started. Get started, we're going to all be there. If you want to take it, it don't matter. They get sprinkled. So no, no, just I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna face him to run back out here. He says, "Ladies first." Hey. I will. <laughs> we wet now. It don't matter. We stand out here for a while. Yep. Going 